Hey guys, the American Marine Actor here, and I just have a new video. So, I got this nice Cold War 50s steel pot. It does have broken swivel, but it's like, it's not like, I can still do this and it won't snap. It's not dying. But I also, another heat stamp in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because the lighting. Okay. Fucking camera, bro. There. You can't really read it, but it says four. It says four three five one. There's no M or S. Don't know if that was just World War Two helmets, but yeah, has a heat stamp. Uh, the heat stamp is four three five one. I don't know how to date that, so if you do, that'd be great. I'd really love to figure out when this is. And if the comments are disabled on this video, because I keep saying that my channel is not for kids, and it still keeps disabling the comments. So if the comments are disabled, just go to one of my older videos and comment and help me out with that stuff there. Please. That's nice. This is what I keep my Vietnam helmet in now. You see here, I have a repro cover with some graffiti on it. Uh, I'm saving up for original one right now. With a good liner, an original cover, and some chin straps, which would be amazing. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is, because uh, it comes with the pot, the liner, and the chin straps, and the cover, all original. But my liner is in better condition than the other one, the inside, at least. Once I get another liner to see what actual colors are, if they're all this really light green color, then I'm going to do, yeah, it's just, I'm going to do a, fuck, uh, can't remember the word right now. Restoration of this liner. That's the word. Right now, I'm actually trying to do a restoration to my World War II. Uh, World War II liner up here. If I can get it. I did get it. Sick. See? I've been able to get that one out. Because... Just starting to rot away at the liner itself. See, I got these to come off because it's just rusty to sh shit. My bad for the language. But I can't get these out. So. That one I still have to take out. That one I still have to. I really have to take this all out just to make it wearable again. That's my goal. Gonna keep this though. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna keep that because it's in good condition. But if I can wear this, that'd be amazing. I might just take everything out and put it on display. Actually, I think I'm just gonna leave it on display like this. <coughs> but anyway, to this. This is a paratrooper helmet I got not too long ago from my friend's grandpa's garage. That's my cat. Jorge! He's beautiful. Anyway, but it won't zoom out. Back on topic. This is not a removable helmet liner. Uh, you could use it for Vietnam if you wanted to, but that's how my love life works. Look at that. They just walk out on me. But it's 1978 dated. I mean, 79. DLA 179C3078. Boom. Fast talking. <coughs> um. Yeah, it's paratroopers. I was watching Pepsi Boy, and he said that a guy landed, fractured his neck, and died because of this. I'm going to complete this with the nape strap and the 
uh, padding to go in here. But it's it's pretty nice. It's it's a really nice sweatband, not cracky. But what I actually put in this helmet, I can. Yeah. Okay, now that's out of there. Cause I'm trying to create a paratroopers helmet by itself. Cause this is not gonna be my paratroopers helmet. See, there's there's that that goes in there. But this comes with my complete 1985 dated sweatband with the removable liner part. Which honestly, it's like one of the most com oh, Jesus. I can't get it on. There we go. Okay, uh, I usually can do this. There we go. But that's just what I put in here. I did not buy this. All this comes from just stuff I've gathered over time. I did buy this liner because I thought it was Vietnam before I really knew. The Vietnam ones have some weird reflector crap under it. Like, here's my Vietnam one. See, it's, it's got some weird reflective stuff under it. This paratroopers one, which is sort of Vietnam era, got some reflective stuff under it. So yeah, that's that. And uh, that that's kind of it. That's right. I found the heat stamp on this helmet. This is my old helmet. See, this was actually the thing that it came with. This helmet. I took it apart and I use it from a Vietnam helmet because it fits my Vietnam helmet better. It fits better. And the heat stamp is like somewhere here. Let me find it. Uh, Alright, I found it. It's probably too faded to read on camera. But it says... Nine eight six. That's that's all I can make out. Nine eight six. That's it. And this cover is dated nineteen eighty four. So like, it's just kind of my eighties setup. Oh, I'm saving up for a new Vietnam helmet. Uh, yeah. It has an original cover, original liner chin straps and I hoping an original seal pot if it don't that's gonna be kind of sucky because it's like a hundred bucks on eBay don't buy it the seller's name I don't know but it's like there's only three pictures on it and it's like a hundred dollars and fourteen forty for shipping so just don't buy it please boy comes with a liner, but the, my liner is in better condition than it, so I'm going to put my liner in it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other liner, put it <coughs> in this helmet with my reproduction cover, flipped around on the brown side, cause I, I just want to have a brown side cover, because that would be dope, here's my sweatband, which I'm going to put on the helmet, and then I'm actually going to take this sweatband off of here, because this is the Vietnam era, you want to know how? It doesn't have the cat eyes. See that? It have reflective stuff on it. It don't have that. It also has a name on it. Font not. My mom said it was French, so I was like, dope. I right. So that's my Vietnam crap. Well, oh god, I can't think right now. I'm pretty tired. I'm sorry. This is my helmet update. Ta-da. Yeah, alright. Bye.